Um, we talked about riba and back and forth. Let's get to the broader question. Can you define what makes Islamic finance Islamic? What is Islamic about our version of Islamic finance? I'll be honest here, a lot of people think that it's a type of numbers game or word game. The, and you yourself just said, the ruling is, we don't care about the words used, we care about the maqasid, we care about the overall. And it is as if some of these Islamic mortgage companies, they're taking from Fannie and Freddie, they're taking from the same people, and they're even charging a little bit more, and in reality, it seems as if the contract is constructed all in their favor. So what exactly makes Islamic finance Islamic? Well, in the same way that we have like a Muslim family law and Muslim penal law and Muslim economic you know, uh, system, we do have an Islamic finance system. If you avoid like certain defects in the, in the agreement in which one of them, or the most important one actually is riba, then this is by default an Islamic one. And by the way, I do not think it is fair enough to call it Islamic to start with. You can call it a Jewish finance, believe it or not. You can call it a Christian finance. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who prohibited us from dealing with interest, is the same one who prohibited the Jewish community from dealing with interest. وَأَخْذِهِمُ الرِّبَى وَقَدْ نُهُوا عَنْهُ, وقد نهو عنه. So riba actually is prohibited in Christianity for fact. Riba is prohibited in, in, in the Abrahamic faith for fact, in the Judaism for fact. So I do not mind at all if you call it a Jewish finance or Christian finance, I do not mind at all. The most important thing is to make sure that you go with the just and fair and ethically responsible, responsible uh, finance. Now back to the maybe mortgage, Islamic mortgage companies. Yeah, is, so is this the, yeah, what makes it Islamic or what makes it different? Well, if you are looking for a genuine, sound, 100% Islamic finance practice in the USA with those companies who deal in the secondary market, we are wasting our time, to be honest with you. You won't find it. I mean, you cannot find yeah. it, period, right? Unless you operate offline. And alhamdulillah, we do have a lot of attempts here in the, in, in the US, Islamic mortgage companies who do not, who do not deal in the secondary market. For those who do not know what, what does mean secondary market, banks usually, mortgage companies, do not have the financial ability of waiting for you as a customer for 20, 30 years to pay them back the principal. They just turn around next day and they sell that contract to Freddie Mac and Freddie May. If it, uh, if it is worth, let's say, $1 million, they take nine, $970,000 know, uh, uh, cash and that's it. And you start paying your money to Freddie Mac and Freddie May. Again, they, they do not have the ability. In order for them to make those contracts okay, sellable to Freddie Mac and Freddie May, they have to go with the book. So they all actually are Freddie Mac compliant way more than to be Sharia compliant. Now, to be honest and fair enough with those companies, they are not in the same level of diligence and, and dedication to implement uh, uh, an Islamic uh, finance, finance model. Problem here, Sheikh, is that, problem, the fundamental problem, is that the whole system is a non-Islamic one. So in order for you to incorporate a genuine and sound Islamic finance practice within a non-Islamic finance, it is close to impossible, right? Because of the severe incompatibility mm -hmm. between the uh, two, two differences. In the, in, in the Islamic one, you have to own the property. You have to be liable and responsible for the property. You pay maintenance, you pay tax, you pay insurance. Okay, you take the risk of uh, like any increase or decrease in the market value. In the traditional finance system, you cannot do any of the above. So to do all the above and not to do all the above, I mean, it is, it is impossible. However, however, we do have some serious attempts who, who were able to navigate through the system and find a way that is, I call it halal enough option. Halal enough. Halal enough <laughs> option. It's <laughs> a new fifth category. <laughs> yeah, halal enough uh, option versus just, just uh, like traditional mortgage. One. Well, I mean, if you have halal enough versus absolutely haram, which one you go with? Like back home we say, Ramad uh, right? Like, you know, something is better than nothing. So we do have, alhamdulillah, some, some attempts. Again, if you go to uh, Amja, j just Google Amja, Islamic Warriors Company, you read like a very detailed declaration about those five major companies who operate in, in the U.S. Jay, Sheikhna, it's uh, Friday night. إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا